Hello friends, it's Denise from Loving Life at 60-ish and I am here today because I need to freshen up this fairy garden. I'm going to tip it your way because I can't seem to get the camera angle exactly the way I want it without cutting off my head and with still seeing this. So we're just doing the best we can here. So it's in a galvanized little bucket that I've uh, used for the last four years. So it's doing pretty good. And this was the setup that my grandson and I did last year. So my husband picked it up at the cemetery the other day and brought it home for me to um, kind of refresh and take back up. It goes on our angel baby's stone area. Um, and we're having my uh, mother-in-law's uh, graveside service next weekend. And so I wanted to get it done and get it taken up there and uh, you know, make it pretty up there. So my grandson usually helps me, but he's not here today. And so I'm, I'm basically what I'm going to do is I hope that you can see, I wonder if I should put it so you just see my hands. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> No, I'm going to leave it this way and I'll just keep uh, tipping it up for you. So basically I'm going to take everything out and I have a ton of, I wonder if I can do this, if you can see it. Can you see that? I don't know. I may have just made you really dizzy, but there, yeah. So there's all kinds of fun things in there and we've been lucky, whoops, you don't need to see that. We've been lucky the, um, the first year I put it out, it was in a different container and it was taken. Someone took it. Someone needed it more than we did. And, uh, so, um, We've been lucky for the last four years that it has stayed right there. So I'm just going to take these out and set them in front of me. Um, and I have some, we have a ton of fairy garden stuff. I'll show you. This is a little guy. He was fishing and he <laughs> caught his friend, basically. We have a little duck pond that was in there. And a frog, because you got to have a little frog. A flower chair. So I do have a um, small business where I sell um, fairy garden items. I am uh, going to be not doing that anymore. So I, my Etsy shop is open. And I'm going to put everything up that I have left and um, I'll be going out of that business within the year. I, I'm hoping I'll have everything organized and up there um, within the next month or so. I have a friend that's helping me, but she hasn't been able to come out for a little bit. So there you go. It is, whoops, 71 degrees out here today. There's the bridge. And that may not seem like much, you know, a big deal for you guys, except that it's been in the 50s and cold and rainy all week. There's a little fence that needs to be thrown away. And another little house. I think these two little houses I actually got at the Dollar Tree, the Dollar 25 tree. There's a little red wagon. So some of these things I won't put back in again. And some things I will, um, 
Eli and I will add into our garden here this year. It's a little stepping stone. My dogs can hear me, so one of them is whining. And then I have a, a few little glass uh, beads and a, they always add a piece of sea glass. She thinks that I'm out here with someone having fun without her. And we have a heart-shaped rock that we always put in also. So, the way I start a fairy garden, I'm going to show you this again. You can see it's just dirt. And it, those few glass stones in there. Sorry about my fingers. Um, I'm actually going to take those out too. And I brought out a bunch of stuff that I might want to use, but I just don't know. Um, and that's my Merida. So I'm going to take you for a little walk again. Again, I apologize if this makes you dizzy. But um, so there's my um, crate of things. I'm hoping that you see that instead of the sky. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm making you guys dizzy, so I'll stop doing that. And there's my hands again. Whoops. Well, this is fun. There. Um, so I realized I brought out the same two houses. And so I'm not going to use those. I brought out this gazebo. Um, that we used at, at the house here. I feel like maybe I want to use that this year. And there's one of the houses that we used last year. And I'm going to use that again. I'm going to set that over here. So what I do is I try to envision just a little yard. You know, and what would the yard have in it? How would it be set up? Um, would it have more than one house? Is it a neighborhood? Or um, we're going to make this the front this time. So there's one of the houses. And I have this house too. Let's see if I can do it over here. But I feel like that might be too big. It's like a mansion compared to this, isn't it? Actually, that might not be bad. We'll see. Um, I do have a, another white picket fence that I will put um, in behind. And I'll show you. I just stick it into the dirt. The dirt is wet. I always make sure the dirt is wet, and this happened to be wet because it's been raining so much. So there's a little white picket fence. And let's see. We have a chair that goes with, but it's awful big. It's as big as the house. We also have a bird feeder that's really kind of cool. That's pretty big, too. Oh, we have this. I want to put this in this year. Free Sparkle. So, I'm going to put that over here in their backyard, I think. Again, this changes a lot um, as I go along. You now can hear my cat meowing, too. Um, yeah, that cat, I have this little chair and I had a little table too. I wonder if I dropped it. I dropped a bunch of stuff. I wish it was a pink chair, but I don't think I have a pink chair. Let me see. I don't know what happened to the red table. 
but we shall find it. There's another red chair. Okay. So these are just little bits and bobs. There's some mushrooms. But what I think I will do is I'm going to put this uh, pathway back in. And it's butterflies. And I'm going to put it from the... Oops, it doesn't quite fit. From Oops. front of the gazebo or the um, edge of the gazebo over to here so that they'll be able to walk to their free sparkle. Anyone else here do fairy gardens? Love fairy gardens? Um, my grandson and I are in the process of trying to so these are little glass pieces that I actually found at Goodwill and they are perfect little stones for a step at the front of the house and so I'm going to put one over here too um my grandson and I have big ideas for a large uh, fairy garden this year. I don't know if it's actually going to happen or not, but there's a little red bike, so we'll bring some more red in. I'm going to put it back here um, where the little fairies might play. I'm going to put the swing back in. Um, I need something right there. I think... I might put the pond back in there. So that's the little duck pond. It's good to have a water source in your fairy garden. This one has a little sea glass in it too. And um, the fairies can swim in it. Now, I just dropped something. Let me see what it is. Oh, yeah, a couple of signs. My cat snuck out this morning, so now he's around here meowing. There's a turtle too. Um, hmm. Let's see what else we want to bring there. <clears throat> We've got this, so I think that's good for a sign. I'm looking to see what else we might have. Okay, so this, I forgot this was in here. This is a piece of my mother-in-law's dishes. So she broke a dish years ago and I took the dish and had necklaces and keychains made up um, with it and this happened to be an extra piece, and I think I'm just going to set it in here as a, um, as a door, as a step right there in commemoration of my mother-in-law. I am going to use these mushrooms. I did find that these mushrooms fade very much in the sun and it is high sun there so these will will not last very long but they'll be fun they add a little bit of whimsy and um, red again into the pink and such and then uh, sometimes all this stuff falls over but we will get it um, Let's see, I'm gonna move that chair for a minute. We will get it to stay up once we set it down at the cemetery. Uh, I'm gonna put the frog on that little piece of sea glass there. And so tell me about your fairy gardens. Do you do fairy gardens? Um, have you ever done a fairy garden? Do you believe in fairies? Where is that back there? 
um, what's the scoop? Let's tell all here. I obviously do fairy gardens. I believe in fairies. Look, I even have little, this is inappropriate for the cemetery and for a baby's fairy garden, although she's in her 20s now. I have little wine bottles too. I need to put those back up on Etsy. Those did well. <laughs> um, let's see. What else can we... Oh, i got to put that chair back. There. I, um... I don't know, you guys. I really like this chair. Perspective isn't everything. Oh, it's got to be this little one. Let's see. So sometimes I end up adding in things as the summer goes on, too. I have a bird feeder, a bird bath that I might like to put. Oh, this one doesn't. I, I'm going to have to cut the stem off. I forgot about that. Because this uh, pan isn't shallow enough. I mean, it is too shallow, is what I meant. So I just put that um, chair there, and I don't know if you can see without me tipping over, the mushroom is right there too, and I thought uh, the fairy could just rest her little feet on the mushroom. I have this fairy, the little girl on the boy's shoulders, and this fairy, you can tell, has been out in the sun for several years. She's faded quite a bit, but she's um, doing the heart hands. So I'm going to put her over here and I'm going to put this one, um, I think under here, like they're welcoming. Will it work? No, no. I think we might have to, let's see if she'll fit under there. Nope. So it's just kind of trial and error. It doesn't take very long once you get going. I I make uh, fairy gardens in teacups and in um, baskets, containers that I find at, oh, anywhere, like Goodwill. I've done them in, in Christmas containers. Just kind of fun to do them. Um, you know, let your imagination go wild. I do have a lot of stuff, you know, which is because I, oh, I have this little fairy. This one I think is too big, though. It's a little boy and a girl. I think it's too big, though, for this. Um, I just have a lot of fun. There's a shell. I'm gonna put the shell. It's always good to have a little bit of C there. And let's see, I've got the little red bike back here and the fairy. Oh, y'all, I do have that chair instead of the red one. I think I might like that one better. Yeah. Nice flower one. I'll show you in a minute, or I'll try. I'll take a picture of it, though, too, and put it at the beginning of the video. So we have a turtle. If I put him up here, I'll have to glue him. But I think that's where he needs to go. And then... I thought I had a squirrel, too. I have this greenery... Mm -hmm. It's getting pretty full, guys. Oh, it's not going to fit there. I do like to put some... This is just a fake um, plastic uh, piece of green. And she may want to go right here. 
Um, I think we're going to have to take that out. That's not working for me. Okay, we do have this rock. Let's see, we have the heart-shaped rock. I think it's going to go in the... Inside the shell this time. Nope. See, it really is just trial and error. Actually, I'm going to put that on in a minute. I'm going to put that in. We have the flat rock um, that Eli found last year. And I don't really have a space for it this year, so we'll have to put it in our gardens here. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have a cooler of... That's not going in there. Um, I do a lot of searching in places. Uh, Goodwill. I found all these little tile pieces in a bag at Goodwill. There were pink ones and silver and um, green and gold. So that's kind of fun, too. I have another one of these green... Uh, no, I don't think I can use it. Well, guys, what do you think? We have a little baseball fairy. This was one of my most popular. I think he sold out. I think that's the last one, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, so what I want to do is just look and see if there is anything else that I would like to put in there, first of all. Oh, I do have, which I've never used in here. I could put those pink flamingos in there. That would be kind of pretty, wouldn't it? There's two of them. I think those ones are sold out also. I could put them right there by the chair. And then I have this, which is just another piece of um, plant, and it's fake. But I thought I might. I do like to fill it up quite a bit. Let's see. What if we put that there? And I usually like to do height in the back and lower in the front, but I feel like... Um, this needed it differently. I think she's going to stand right there. And this one's over here. Okay, so then if I can do this without it all blowing away. Oh, I could show you too. I mean, you can be, you can spend as much money as you want on uh, fairy garden stuff. And like I said, I have quite a bit in my shop. I do um, combine shipping. It doesn't look it, but when you've paid, um, I always give, I always refund extra shipping charges. Um, this was an aquarium piece. Isn't that cute? I almost feel like we should use that instead of this. Let's see. It's very whimsical. Very, you know, castle-like. Let's see. I've got to turn it around and look at it. Sometimes I make it so that it can go in all different directions. This time it's obviously there's a front and a back. I have to glue the frog and the turtle down or they will disappear. Um, I don't think we want the shell in there. I like that. We might put this here, actually. And put the green one back over here. We're going to, I'm just readjusting things so that they're easier to be seen. The smaller things like the little bike. We still have to put the heart-shaped thing in. As you can hear, my voice is doing much better. So I have... Um, we have all these, they're just 
uh, fillers. It's just uh, plants, again, from the Dollar Tree. But uh, I've made fairy gardens in coffee cups and... I mean, really, all over, in all kinds of things. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding moss pieces all around. I didn't do this last year. Uh, my grandson didn't want him, but I want them this year. And since he's not here to help, it just adds a little bit of green, you know, to the landscape of it and it makes it look more almost like there's grass um what you have to do though i learned the hard way is once you put moss down you really really need to um wet it or it's gonna um, blow away basically until it's um in the in the ground so to speak until it's kind of molded itself to the dirt it it blows around and you lose it so i'm just adding in tucking in i do sort of wish that i had done a camera that way instead and I thought it might be nice to see my face this time but it would have been more important to see the bird's eye view of this I will um, like I said I will add a picture at the very beginning of what this now looks like and um, I will in my um, I'll do a post and add some pictures also I have a Facebook group for my fairy garden however it has not been very active in the last year just because I was deciding whether or not I was going to continue with it and I obviously I am you know, at this point, until I sell out of all the pieces. And I've got hundreds of pieces. I just need to get them up on my Etsy shop. And anyone that knows, knows. You know, it's, it's not that easy to list things and get them up there. It takes a lot of time and energy and spirit <laughs> so but I will be doing that and I run sales quite often on there because as I said I am trying to clearance the items out I, I want to just fairy garden for the fun of it and anyone who's has a business knows that you you lose a little bit of the fun of things when you have to do business stuff and sometimes I have to pick up an item to put the moss down and then put the item back in this is two colors of moss maybe three colors kind of cool my grandson will look at it and say oh mimi why did you do that so he and i make um we have, I'm looking out here, one, two, three, four, five um, window boxes that are not in windows. They're actually on our deck railings. And that's going to change because we're getting a new deck eventually here if we can um, get someone to build it for us. And he, um, we, we build a fairy garden theme in each one. So last year we had a... <coughs> Peter Pan themed one and we had an Alice in Wonderland themed one and then we had a um, beach one or ocean sort of and a um, gnome one and I think we had a Halloween one we didn't do a Christmas one this year 
although we considered it because we have lots of Christmas um, stuff. It's going to blow away if I leave it and sit in there. So I'm going to pick this up and put... Now, if you are putting this outside, I suggest putting it someplace shaded and then the items don't fade. Um, it is disappointing when they fade after a summer, but they're only going to fade in the direct sun. Like at the cemetery, it is direct sun. And so everything fades. But, and out here on my deck, it is direct sun. So it all fades after a summer out there. But I suggest you... Go ahead and put it in, you know, semi-shade. Um, we put a few things in our in my actual flower garden, too, just to add a little whimsy in there. My very tall sunflowers had some uh, gnomes living under it last year. Like I said, you can be as crazy as you want with what you do. Okay, I'm going to take my squirt bottle and just give it a good dousing of water. That doesn't... Okay. I'm actually dousing the items too. Not for any particular reason. They're all pretty clean. They've been inside um, except for the original items on the fairy garden. I wish I had a little bird to put up here. I I say I wish I did. I'm sure I do. So I just um, wet it and then press and it's, you know, it's pretty wet right now and it'll, it'll mold to the kind of puffy, I guess. That's what I meant. Not just wet, but it will mold down in as it rains outside and it, um, and the sun hits it. This will not be quite so puffy. Let's see. If I could figure out how to add pictures to my video before I post this, I could... See, I've got a little too much there. I could... show you, you know, what it looked like last year and what it looks like this year. But the whole YouTube videos is a learning curve. Definitely a learning curve. Yeah, I like the moss in it. Again, we didn't use it last year. And the heart-shaped rock we're going to put right, nope, right, I don't know where to put it this year. Eli would know. Hmm. I like that the little mushrooms are just sort of peeking out. Just want it somewhere where it shows up. Okay. <clears throat> I could fiddle with this for a very long time <laughs> and keep going and going and going. Now, what I didn't use this year was this house. And I'm going to just sort of peek and see. Yeah, I like that castle house in there. I didn't use the swing that we used last year. Or the uh, firefly forest this way. Sorry. 
I don't think I put that bird feeder in last year anyway. I did not use the little guys. It's a, just a bit too much, I think, to put them in there. Although they are pretty cute, aren't they? Um, let me turn it around. Actually, I'm going to use them. They're pretty cute. So I'll um, do a post also and put a picture up of the final version. I don't think I'm going to tweak with it anymore. We are taking it up today, so I want to call it done. Um, I think that turtle needs to be on the path. I think we're going to call that done. Let's see. I'm going to tip it up for you. And next time I do a fairy garden, I'll do it from overhead and see how that is. There it is. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Let me see. I'm going to um, just come behind the camera and bring it a little... I mean, I won't be able to see, but I'm assuming. Where is it? There it is. I'm hoping that when I do this, you guys are seeing this and not like the sky or my hand. I don't know. Learning curve learning curve. Um, and let me see. I'm going to pick it up and there it is. All the little parts and pieces. The red and the pink pops of color are really nice in this. And we've got some fairies in there and places for them to hide and swim. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I'm, um, we're going to head out and take this over in about a half hour and I'm excited to do that. I forgot to ask my husband if the solar, there, yeah, that's a better view, isn't it? If the, oh, you guys, there you go. If the um, solar light was still over there, but we'll find out. I will actually take a short video over there. I, that might be sad for some people, but just know, I mean, it was, we lost her in 1994 and it's not that we ever got over it, but it's that it, it changes you and it's different. Um, but, um, you know, we don't, we don't need or want people to be sad for us anymore. We, we're grateful that we ha have had the life that we've had and the children that we've had or have. So there you go, guys. You could see it. I never thought about bringing it up close to the camera, right? I'll learn. It'll take time. Look at that. You can, I, sh I probably shouldn't point this out, but you can see my gutter we have an issue it happened this winter right, right up there yeah yep okay i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you real soon bye <laughs>